That guy's an idiot. Did you see what he just did? He just jumped into the center, like into the whatever it's called. What is up guys? We are trying out the super speed scorpion. The other day I noticed the scorpion is underratedly fast, if that's a word, but we're gonna try it out and use it as a complete beacon runner with nitro units and speed skills specifically. So Springfield should be a good map here. And let's use it right away and see what kind of speed we can get on. So this is with our three nitro units, but we only get that further it's like 32 and a half percent more speed if the enemy team gets three beacons so man look at this thing pretty darn fast and man it seems like the fastest robots in the games are now becoming brawlers like before there was the loki maybe the regatka the i don't even know you know those light robots that didn't have a whole lot of firepower but now the Oroshi, now the scorpion these things can run down beacons and they have brawling skills and some pretty good firepower. So, what is that on my team? It looks like my teammates running over here, so let's run with him. I think we can 2v1 this guy and take him out. Oh, he probably knows I'm coming for him. Ooh, okay, he, he hit his phase shift. Let's get to this beacon. Okay, you know what? I could have teleported back, but we're just going in. We're going in, we're going to kill this Demeter. Because this would be a big push for my team if we can get this beacon. Okay, last stand is triggered. And he does not have enough rockets to take us out. Boom, there we go. Uh-oh, he's got support. He's got support. Cook him, cook him. Boom, double kill. Perfect. All right, that was a pretty good start to the game. We did lose some health, but we still have our nitro unit speed. Um, so I guess my teammate's still just running down over there, right into brawling territory, but we might as well follow him. So let's chase him down. Okay, this Blitz, let's see if we can take him out. I think he has his ability. Die. Oh no, we should have, we should not have teleported back. Because we lost our speed. Oh man, don't die, don't die. Oh crap, that was a bad idea. Bad idea. We should have stayed right by him and brawled him out. No. Ah. Alright, that's not good. And that is not good. Okay, we died. But man, that scorpion is fast. I can tell you that much. The scorpion's almost not as good as a of a brawler these days, just because people are it's kind of predictable what the scorpion does. It teleports behind you every time. And I think players are figuring out how to counter that. Oh, what? Somebody stole our kill. We got our Typhon here. Um, let's... Ooh, that's another Typhon, I think. So let's try to hit him with our ability. Okay, we hit him. Now melt. Melt him! Melt! Die! Boom, kill. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 this isn't good. The Favner's gonna kill us. He's gonna kill us. Darn it. Alright. That smelly Favner. You old bag. Now let's... We gotta protect this beacon now. Demeter. Man, these weapons aren't the greatest on the Demeter. But we'll see what we can do with them. We really have to protect this beacon, because... We have three beacons right now, but the enemy team's kind of pushing forward here. Oh man, come on. Yeah, man, the, there's so many hawks these days. I think I was kind of right with my assumption. Okay. With my assumption that the hawk is now becoming more popular than ever. Because I know a lot of people probably don't have access to the Favner yet. But the hawk is, I think, better than the Favner at taking down titans. And players are really... Seems like everyone's running at least one Hawk in their hangar to take down Titans. Oh god, if they put a last down on the Titans, I'm going to be so mad. 
That'd be so flippin' annoying. Here's a hawk. See, these weapons aren't the greatest. Oh, these weapons, come on. These things suck. Die. Burn. Okay, we're gonna get taken out here. I do have my Sharanga. I'd love to drop in here, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get this beacon, so... Let's just unload our rockets and then probably switch. Then probably switch out. But I think we have this game... I don't want to jinx it, but we got three beacons right now, and they have a tiny bit of beacon bar left. Sorry, guys. I think we won this one. Sorry, enemies. Better luck next time. That guy's an idiot. Did you see what he just did? He just jumped into the center, like, into the whatever it's called. I can grab this beacon. He just, like, gave this, this beacon to us. But, all right, I'll take it. All right, we got the win there. Not a whole lot of damage with that scorpion, but we did. That was a pretty good showcasing of its speed. So, 1.8 million damage. Jeez, not that much damage, but first on our team still with five beacons. And five beacons on Springfields. Usually pretty decent. So, here's the scorpion again. So, this is just the regular three times nitro unit speed. Pretty impressive. And pick Sonic. Get rid of the the dumb mechanic where if your nitro unit your nitro unit speed will disappear when your HP goes down. It doesn't make any sense. Speed is not that overpowered, and it's like why why you doing it? Okay, let's try to take this guy out. This blitz probably has his ability. Yay! I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can make use of our speed here and kind of weave in and out of battle. Okay, I want to wait for my phase shift and my ability to load up a little bit here. And then we attack. Okay, let's attack this guy. Oh, man, he has his shield. He's got his phase shift. Oh, that sucks. All right, we're just going to wait it out. But yeah, sudden shift, it seems like in Champion League of Hawks becoming more popular again. And Scorpions getting less popular. Because I don't just think the Scorpion's that amazing of a brawler. I'm just trying to think of it now as a beacon brawler slash brawler. But as of a pure brawler, not so much. Uh-oh. Oh, man. We're taking some heat. Okay, I'm trying to fake these guys out. We're going to run, we're going to run, and then go back. Yeah, we faked him out so hard there. That was pretty sweet. Oh, this guy's still shooting at us. We were running the other direction, then teleport it back. That Fenrir, we cannot take out, though. So, let's run away. But you see I'm running around a lot and trying to make use of the speed. Because when you have a speed advantage over the enemy team, you want to use it. You want to keep moving. Keep moving. In a groove. Alright, so here we are. Here's another clip on Shenzhen this time. In that Spectre. Looks like he's running Vabor weapons. Boom, didn't stand a chance. And I don't want to take any damage really at all just because I'm gonna use that lose that nitro unit speed. But man, I feel like it's pretty interesting to see the different how speed affects different robots in the game. Okay, let's run back. Uh oh my teammate. No, teammate! No! Is he still alive? He's still alive. There's three guys. Uh, he's still alive back there, man. My teammate's holding and staying in there. Don't die. Oh, we almost got that hawk. Before he his reflectors went up. Uh-oh, Fenrir. Okay, let's bolt out of here. See, we're keeping moving. We're keeping moving. Moving, moving. Ooh, this shell bot. Um, okay, yeah, let's let's take him out. Oh my god, I hate that drone. I have that microchip too on some of my drones, and it's so annoying. Are you protected? Whoa! 
that's always a weird thing when you teleport behind a hawk or a flying robot. Okay, we were taking a little bit too much damage there. This Nodens on our team is healing us up. Okay, we're gonna go back in. No. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. We teleported it and there were three titans just staring at us. Jeez Louise. Alright. Can we grab this final beacon? Not with a phase shift, we can't. Oh, we couldn't hang in there. Oh, we're gonna die. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap it up. So that's the scorpion as a complete beacon runner. Or as fast as the scorpion can get. Speed is pretty impressive, not gonna lie. But... The Scorpion's brawling seems to be a lot less effective these days. But thanks for watching the video, guys. Until next time, peace. See you guys next video.